Welcome to the master stock and this master stock I am going to discuss about many to one function means how to identify many to one function based on the graph or based on the algebraic equation any of the format if it is given or if it is given in the form of set any of the format we will able to identify this function is many to one how we will able to identify then this is your part of algebra and graph and of course it is a big part you can say one of the big chapter algebra and function coming under the QA quantitative ability then just we'll start how to identify any of the function it is many to one few criteria is there just we have to follow that criteria if it is falling down or it is satisfied then we can say it is a many to one function many to one name itself you can say many to one means two or more values means input will be more than one but output will be one many to one two or more values of x gives one value of y means two or more values of independent variable gives exactly one value of y or same value of output then we can say it is many to one many will be input output will be one answer or output can repeat like you have taken the one element of set a that is a and again got the output two you have take, taken the element b again you are getting the output two means for element a and b output is same that is equal to two then answer may be repeat answer or output answer or output may repeat because it is a many to one next is if you are putting horizontal line that is one of the litmus test one of the test just you take the bar horizontal bar and just slide over the graph like top to bottom or bottom to top if horizontal line cut more than one point then we can say it is a it is a many to one in place of horizontal line can you think or should you think or not why we are not taking vertical line why we are not taking the vertical line why we are not taking the test of vertical line actually for checking the graph two type of tests are there vertical line test and horizontal line test we are only considering here horizontal line test why we are not discussing or telling about vertical line test sochna chahiye nahi sochna chahiye sochna chahiye agar nahi sochna chahiye then you are not thinking about the mathematics if you are thinking about the mathematics then you should think you should think why we are taking only horizontal line test why we are not taking vertical line test vertical line test is for test of function if any of the relation is function or not for that vertical line test is there but once function is defined function is decided or uh, defined this relation is a function then categorization of function will check by the horizontal line i am making very clear if any of the relation is there how to check it is a function or not we will use vertical line test we will use vertical line test if function is defined means this relation is function then which type of function this is one to one many to one many to many or many to one which type of function it is there or on to into subjective bijective which type of function it is to identify that exact type of function we will use horizontal line test very clear next quadratic function quadratic function generally it will be always many to one even function why it is even function will be many to one you should think what is property of even function it will be always symmetric about y axis if it is symmetric about y axis then automatically once you will put the horizontal line it will cut more than one places then even function always it will be many to one or another i told one, one broad uh, category that is symmetric to y axis any of the graph if it is symmetric to y axis it will be always many to one but your range will be always subset of codomain range will never equal to codomain what is range actual output and what is codomain possible output what is domain that is input only two things are required here one is input that is x what is output y y we can just define in two ways that is one is codomain one is range what is codomain possible output what is range actual output input will be only defined by domain whatever input will be there that will be domain and this x and y just a book message diya rata hai idhar ye hai idhar ye hai this is set a this is set b between a and b certain relation is there that is called by equal to fx that is related by the function what is function what is function function is a kind of relation and once you are putting input this you are getting output this once you are put once you are putting input this you are getting output this this will be a just basic representation or pictorial representation of function or relation then range is actual output codomain is possible output and domain is input set of input just will take the help of lti learn through images that is called lti that is very powerful technique learn through images because image will make you make the more impact why it is making more impact because our the, our brain property is there brain will learn only through images like whatever i have written in six lines these all criteria once i will represent by one images 
all six lines will be crystal clear. If I will not represent by one, one figure or one image, it will not clear because it is property of brain. Software of brain, we have to follow that software. No alternative. God has given that limitation of software. We have to understand the, that software and we have to learn according to that. Brain is always accepting the images due to I am learning through LTI, learning through images. This is set A, this is set B. Just here you check like if you are putting input A1, output is 1. Input is A2, again output is 1. Then directly you can say many to 1. In many to 1, range may be, may not be equal to codomain. Like here, what will be the range? Range if you just you look this set B. Which value is exact output? What are the exact output? 1, 3, 4. Range is 1, 3, 4. Generally, in set theory, we will use this notation, this bracket. This bracket we will use to show the elements of the set. What is codomain? Codomain will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then you can say 1, 3, 4 will be always a subset of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Very simple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is a codomain and range is only 1, 3, 4. What is 1, 3, 4? 1, 3, 4 is exact output and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is possible output. Means if we have put some other input other than A1, A2, A3, A4, then maybe for some some input 5 also may come or 6 also may come then this is your possible output what is your domain domain simple you can say it is a1 a2 a3 and a4 this is only difference domain codomain range like here just one graph we will see here is another pair of x values that both match up the same like once you are putting any horizontal line if you are putting any horizontal line to the graph it is cutting at two places Point 0.1 and point 0.2 then we can say it is a many to one function and by seeing itself we can say it is a quadratic function quadratic function then automatically it will many to one function or we can say it is a symmetric to y axis then it will be a many to one function or we can say it is a even function due to it is many to one function all three criteria is fulfilled for this figure it is quadratic function first this is even function second and third is it is symmetric to y axis all these are fulfilling and afterwards one litmus test we are putting the horizontal line it is cutting at two places then we can say it is a many to one function then just continue to learn further about the function algebra and number or many more i just to log in at the paroliko.com thank you